Hey everybody, this is Leslie and you're watching Midlife and Nailing It. Today I'm participating in a chicken hop. So what you want to do is I'm going to put the link to the next person you need to hop right over to in my description box below. So you're just going to want to click on that link and hop right through everyone's videos. This is hosted by Domestic Diva. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so today I have for you a slow cooker Tuscan chicken and bean soup. It's going in my crock pot. I know that uh, my crock pot videos are pretty popular on my channel. So I wanted to let you know this is a crock pot meal. I'm so excited. This sounds so good to me. I've been craving it. Um, so let's go ahead and go through the ingredients. Um, I've got a package of chicken breast. It looks like there's three there, uh, two or more, just however much chicken you want in. I've got two cans of the cannellini beans. I'm going to rinse those in a minute. I've got two cans of diced tomatoes. I'm going to leave the juice in those when I pour it in my crock pot. I've got 32 ounces of chicken broth there. I grab some salt and pepper. I've got some carrots, an onion, garlic, bay leaves, and some Italian seasoning. And then I have some kale. Now, this can be a freezer meal that you just throw in your crock pot whenever. Like you could whip this up on a different day, throw it in your freezer and grab it when you've got a busy day going on, throw it in the crock pot. Having said that, all of the ingredients that you see here can go in the bag. Kale, I would not recommend going in your freezer bag. We're gonna put this in last minute, so just make sure you have it on hand when you're gonna make this recipe. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything into the crock pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've got my chicken under here. I like to pat my chicken dry from all the, you know, chicken ick that's on there. That's what I do uh, when I use chicken breast. If you don't like to do that, don't, but that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my salt and pepper. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I guess it would probably be what, I don't know, like a fourth of teaspoon of salt and maybe a teaspoon of pepper. I like stuff a little more peppery. If you don't, use less. Um, so I'm sprinkling it on the one side. I'm gonna flip these over and do the same thing to the other side. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain both cans of my beans here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off really well. And into my pot, the beans go. Next, I'm throwing in my two cans of diced tomatoes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion and carrot. I also peel and dice up three cloves of garlic here, guys. Alright guys, so you just saw me cut up one onion. I cut up about three carrots, but I don't know, you want about this many. 
<laughs> and then I peeled and diced up three cloves of garlic. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. If you like just a little, do like one or two. I'm doing three here. So I'm just throwing in my garlic and carrots and onion. So that's all in. All right, everybody, I'm throwing in my chicken broth here. Like I said earlier, this is 32 ounces. So I wanna get that in there. At a real slow pace, apparently. Really slow. We're gradually making dinner. What the world? This is taking forever. I'm squeezing it, guys. Oh I don't have the patience. <laughs> Better edit that out. I just don't get in there, man. To that, I'm gonna add probably another tablespoon of salt. Is it a midlife and nailing it video without some misspoken moment? So a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, teaspoon of salt. If you haven't used a crock pot very often, spices tend to kind of dilute themselves. So you want to add a little more than what you normally would on like your stove top or while you're baking. Uh, that's probably a tablespoon of black, a tablespoon. That's probably a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I am gonna go ahead and add in some Italian seasoning. You could do like rosemary, thyme, and oregano instead. That's mostly what's in here anyways, except for this has a little bit of basil. Um, you could add basil in, but I'm just using Italian seasoning because it's easier. And then I am throwing in a couple of bay leaves. I Most of my soups that I make have bay leaves in it, and I want to get two really good leaves. And then I'm going to kind of come in here and kind of stir all of this together. I don't want to necessarily stir my chicken, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook on high. You could do low if you wanted to do six to eight hours, but I'm wanting this done in probably about three or four hours. So I'm gonna cook this on high. All right, everybody. So I just pulled my chicken out and I was gonna shred it, but I think I would rather cube it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this knife and then I'll show you what it looks like after I've cubed it up. Okay, so my chicken is all, you know, diced up or cut up or whatever. Uh, it's quite a lot of chicken. Look at that. And oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I'm going to put it back into the soup. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir this in. Let me get my lid and just cover this up for a minute because I want to go ahead and grab my kale. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to grab, like, two big handfuls and drop it in here. And kale kind of wilts down like spinach. It's similar. So I'm grabbing two great big handfuls. And then I'm also gonna add some more Italian seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a bit of a stir because this will wilt right down and cook into your soup. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get the lid back on and then I'll show you what it looks like. See how it's already getting super green and getting in there? <sighs> so I'll let this cook probably, I don't know, like another five, 10 minutes and then I'll show you what this looks like when it is done. Okay guys, look at how delicious this soup turned out. It is so hearty and it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Um, there's a bay leaf. So remember, you want to discard your bay leaves. Those aren't edible, or at least I guess they're edible, but you probably don't want to eat them. Um, and then I went ahead and dished up a bowl of soup and I put some Parmesan cheese grated fresh on top. And then I'm just serving it with a slice of homemade bread. It is gonna be so good. It smells so good. I'm very excited about this meal. Make sure you click the link in my description box below for the next ladies video to hop to. 
So this night I decided to make a dessert, which is really rare for our family unless it's someone's birthday or a holiday. I picked up an angel food cake from Kroger because it was on sale for $1.99 and I just couldn't pass it up. I grabbed some strawberries. I just sliced them up, you guys, and then I just add enough sugar to kind of coat the strawberries and you let it hang out and stir ever so often and you end up with... Uh, wonderfulness quite frankly uh, and then I just grabbed some whipping cream whipped that up until it was peaks and added about a half cup of sugar to that gave it a stir and there we go we had some strawberry shortcake for dessert the family was pretty surprised and happy about that thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon mm -hmm.